Today, we're going to talk about how to create a universally unique ID in a JavaScript-based language. Before we get started, uh, if you like videos about React, React Native Expo, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll put this link in the description below. Uh, we're gonna be using this UUID package. Um, it's probably the most popular one uh, for JavaScript. As you can see, it's downloaded 65 million times a week. And it's real simple. Um, one of the first things, before we follow this quick start guide, um, I ran into some problems recently. Um, there's something called uh, React Native get random values. If you're using React Native or Expo, you're gonna need to install this first uh, before installing UUID, and you'll need to import it before you import UUID. Um, in my code, uh, which I'll put in the description below, um, I use React Native, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. So your first step is, uh, npm install react native get random variables. So I'm going to come here and say npm i uh, react native get random variables. And if you're not using react native, you don't need to worry about this. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and import react native get random variables. It's really important that you put it before the UUID or the UUID won't work. All right, so now let's go ahead and go back to the quick start. Your first step uh, is npm install UUID. All right, and uh, just so you know what we're gonna be creating, it should look, end up looking something like this. Um, so this will guarantee that your user IDs are unique. Uh, so step two is import this v4 function from UUID. Again, make sure it's after you re you import React Native get random values. You need to import that first before moving on. All right, so we're ready now to create our universally unique ID. Um, this is a function. I this is an app I created in another video. Uh, you can watch it right here. I showed how to create a database on your front end uh, using fingobox.com. It's super fast. You don't have to build a server to connect to your database. You can just connect directly to your database. Um, but uh, you'll see uh, in that video, there's a sign up form. This is the, the form I'm going to be using to create the universally unique ID. So if you import it that way, you can skip this. You don't have to do this const here. You can just uh, import directly. From then on, you can just use this function here, UUID v4. Uh, if you trigger that, it'll create a universally unique ID like this. So let's go ahead and do that. So in my sign up form, I'm going to say let UUID equals UUID v4. Um, and then in my console log here, it's going to show what that looks like. And that's what's going to be used uh, to send it to uh, the database. This is a user signup form. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open my app. And that that's all you have to do, actually. it's It should be working at this point. All right, let's go ahead and fill out this form and see if it creates a universally unique ID. So there we go. As you can see right here, for values, the first value is a universally unique ID. And so it should look something like that. So it's that simple. That's a way to guarantee that your uh, user ID is unique and it's something great to use for uh, anything related to a user signup. Whenever you want to create a user ID, you should use something like this to make sure that you don't accidentally uh, create different users with the same user ID. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to put them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video. Also, if you're a React Native Expo or Flutter developer interested in push notifications, uh, there should be some videos on the screen about React Native push notifications and Flutter push notifications. You can be up and running in literally under three minutes with both using nativenotify.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.